keep the fish going. Keep uh, ideas flowing. Like the river. Yeah. So we came up with a brainstorm one day and kind of hit me like a rock. And you might not understand the writing on the board. But we're planning on handling a day where all the churches come together. And what's the name of the family? Yeah. Oh yeah, we stand together, Christian United, and uh, we're we're working on getting having a big function down here at the fairground. We're trying to get rent that, but we, they have to load on it, so I'm still waiting back for their call. But churches that we already have that are going to be part of it is Hopewell and the Stockport Christian Church is going to be part of it. So we're still working on the other one, other churches that we have written down there, like Abundant Mercy, Bethel Church. I'm working on one. Oh, yeah, are Abundant Mercy? Yeah. So we're trying to get all the churches together for one day. Let's have a revolution, right? Amen. So we're a revival. Out. A revival. That's what we're working on. Hey, Josh. You're writing from the camera. That's all right. I cut it all in pieces anyway. Sit by me. That's my Josh. Is that your Josh? Bean. Brown. First Peter chapter two, verse two. So I wrote on the board three things that we need to be ministers as well. Everything is about God and Jesus. Anything else is mere empty. The second thing we need is what? To love people. To love people. No matter of their flaws or their hiccups or or their habits or anything, they still we need to love them. Because Jesus loved the lepers. He loved the lepers, the horn lovers. Remember the woman at the well? She had many hopes. Jesus so loved her. We need to love everybody. There's no question around it. And what's the third thing we need? The word. God's word. The Bible. The Bible is our spiritual milk. If we, all right, so if we stop eating, what happens to us? We would learn that, right? You die if you don't eat. Well, our spirit is the exact same way. If we don't eat our spirit with the wholesome word of God, what happens to our spirit? Whether it's not. So we need to constantly keep feeding our spirit, the word of God, just as we eat and feed ourselves. That should be part of our diet of every day. Read your Bible. Amen? Amen. Amen.